the appearance of these supernatural abilities follows the maturation of the chakras. We are never to substitute true spiritual enlightenment for the prideful assumption of power. Whatever your gift, know that it will only increase the more willing you are to use it to help others in a way that serves your life as well. Our chakra activity corresponds uniquely to our personality characteristics. There are several reasons for this, but the primary one is that most of us live more from certain chakras than from others. Most of us have stronger or more emphasized chakras versus weaker or lesser used chakras, simply because our life purpose usually requires employing certain gifts rather than others. Dale, Cindy. Llewellyn's Complete Book of Chakras, Llewellyn's Complete Book Series. In other words, your strongest chakras will be those necessary to fulfill your spiritual and life purpose. Me, Ivo, can you discuss this please? Ivo, I thought we always discussed things. Me, your speech is more eloquent than mine is. Plus I've just experienced my daily trigger. Ivo, I realize you have issues with inconsiderate people. Me, I do. It's a bitch coming here from another planet and knowing intrinsically the loving way they interact and then having to adjust to a system that insults and abuses you. This is the place where anything goes and working on daily forgiveness is the only way to keep your sanity. The irony is the more triggered I am by inconsideration, the more I remember life on Elteron because I can say, I'm triggered by this inconsideration. Why am I so angry? Because on Elteron I would never be treated that way. That's the process I have undergone in remembering my soul and my life as Tianya on Elteron with Ivo. Ivo, yes, that is the process. Everything that irks you about life on Earth is because you have not experienced it recently or perhaps at all in your past lives. The way to remember your soul is to stop being insulted or feeling abused, neglected, or other, because your soul would not feel this way. For those who are in situations that threaten them physically, or the emotional abuse is too much to bear, this is counterproductive so we still recommend you leave for safety's sake. Me, so there you go, folks. We just told you how to remember your soul and your past life. Look at your expectations of self and others, and to remember your soul it's still the same, leave the ego behind. All of this is about reconnection of you to your higher aspects. Ivo, very well. I will discuss these points. The appearance of these supernatural abilities follow the maturation of the chakras. Yes, this is true. All of you want to understand what your life's mission is. When your chakras have matured to the level that they are functioning within a reasonable semblance of balance, then you will understand your life's mission. Many of you do not understand the power of attraction. The power of attraction asks you, what do you want to do? And in answering that question, you may very well embark upon the road to fulfilling your life's dream, your mission. Some of you do not realize that it is too early to fulfill or to begin working on your mission in any meaningful way because the circumstances are not ripe yet to allow you to begin this work. Your service is more futuristic. It is not the world yet to be able to manifest your primary mission in. Yes. Sharon will not allow me to call it a job because many of you have an idea of what a job is and it does differ from being of service. In your jobs you are allowed to kill and fry animals, for example, you are allowed to insert needles into patients, cut people open, and drill out their teeth. In doing service, you will not be allowed these abominations. Me, yeah, we've never told anyone that their mission is to be a dentist. Ivo, no. We have not. However, in preparation for doing your mission, perhaps you might take on any volunteer position, whether it is one of your own making or with an organization. Then you learn the fundamentals of being of service and this will give you the opportunity to do so. The chakra maturation process has to do with working through daily issues that come before you. You are capable of attracting the lessons you need in order to mature your chakras. If your life seems like a bad life and you are unhappy it is because you are focusing on being happy, you are not focusing on learning to be your true self. Many take up addictions in order to stifle this process of wholeness. It only worsens the pain for you and lengthens the process, 
sometimes taking more than one lifetime. When your chakras are allowed to function in balance, you embody your higher self. If they are out of balance, then you need to do work on them. Most people have imbalanced chakras on your world and this is due to matrix interference. As we said, your world is going through a collective kundalini awakening and root chakra issues are being addressed, and you see a good smattering of taking back your power which is a solar plexus issue. With the rescue of children from the bases and cessation of child abuse, this is a collective sacral issue for those upon planet earth. All of this rebalancing will lead to opening of the collective heart for those upon planet earth, some sooner, some later. That is when collective ascension to 5D will be possible, when the heart of all opens and love becomes the main way of interaction. Maturation of the chakras is absolutely necessary. Kundalini must be allowed to rise. Without this process, you remain homo sapiens. Now, one thing I must say is that whenever your chakras are out of balance, you will attract lessons that will put them back into balance whenever you do the work. When you do the rebalancing work, you will not attract the lessons. Especially with higher energies coming in now, you will attract lessons that show chakra imbalances quite quickly. When you do daily chakra rebalancing via the YouTube videos, you will require fewer such lessons. It is that your chakras are imbalanced that you experience pain. Me, so you're saying rebalance your chakras daily and you won't have these karmic lessons. Ivo, they will be reduced. Your life, for example, would be a lot easier if you would work daily on rebalancing your chakras, but you do not, so you attract these lessons. Me, okay. So that one I got today of being treated with inconsideration, what chakra is that being affected? Ivo, the solar plexus chakra, this is about power. Me, whose power? Ivo, the person who was inconsiderate of you feels entitled to treat you so poorly. Me, yes. Ivo, this is the power over others system at work. When you keep your solar plexus chakra more attuned, you will circumvent many of these. Me, yes, I've been getting them daily. Daily triggers which make it hard to do my channeling work. Ivo, yes. Me, what about old lessons, unhealed parts of us? Ivo, you can still work through them by watching your own thoughts. You will catch them in action. Now the book says this as well, and it explains a lot for people who have certain psychic abilities but not others. You for example, have a stronger throat chakra than you do a third eye. This is because you are primarily clairaudient. Having said that your third eye, clairvisuality, is catching up, so much so that you could write a book about your third eye voyages. You are very emotional and a Scorpio, so you use your sacral chakra predominantly. You are very emotional but still have a love-slash-hate relationship with your emotions, and now you are working through them to embrace all of them, uncomfortable and comfortable emotions. You are trying not to label them bad. Many people have stronger mental chakras, the solar plexus. They believe that their intellect is their power and your entire western society functions on this principle. Since this tends to be primarily men who pride themselves on their intellect, your western world has overfunctioning, out of balance sacral chakras. For the male, many have a strong physical presence, and perhaps a strong intellect, but they are taught to repress their emotions so the emotional side of them, as expressed through the sacral chakra, is underactive and out of balance. You see, as well, that there are many men who are large in stature and muscular and these men make a lot of money in professional sports. That is because the dark ones are very adept at understanding your chakras and manipulating them to benefit themselves. The root chakra rules over the physical body and money or rather security, which is expressed through money in your western world. No surprise there. What you must realize is that the true human has strength in all of these areas, physical, emotional, and mental. Then there are the upper chakras which include heart energy and balance of the personality, higher hearing, higher vision, and connection to God source. Me, yes. You have all of these. Ivo, we are balance. 
we do not pride ourselves on our mental abilities and reject our emotional states. We embrace them all. Me, yup. Ivo, your life purpose does require stronger chakras than others at this point in time. When earthlings again become superhumans, then all chakras will function at full power. The reason that you are given certain roles, and that some chakras are stronger than others at this point in time, is because your bodies would not be able to sustain that much energy. They would become weak through burnout. Your bodies now must grow and acclimate to your increasing psychic skill sets. Some are born with more active DNA now but the older ones take longer generally to come into their skill sets because of the body they are born in. Some are born with open chakras anyhow. One role of the light worker slash star seed was to be born into these double stranded bodies and to grow the body to become more powerful. This was done for the sake of future generations. Me, thanks Ivo. Ivo, you are most welcome, my love.